So in the world of Tristan Thompson and the everlasting, you know, cheating saga, we have Marilyn Nichols who is now breaking her silence on this whole matter and everything that has taken place. And this is what she is saying. Um, it's ridiculous. Over the past couple of weeks, many inaccurate and false stories have been circulated about me. I have not, um, I have not at any point, my, what? I have, listen, what the hell's wrong with me? Um, I have not at any point released, nor have I directed anyone else to release any information regarding Tristan Thompson or any litigation involving him. I have never spoken to any media outlet, nor have I leaked any information to anyone at any time. I am proving this statement because I feel I must defend my character. I promise you it's not that serious. I promise you nobody is looking at you like, you know, your Beyonce, please. Um, these girls want to be doing that. I don't know, man. They just come up with these whole statements and, okay, not defend my character. Is this the colour purple, guys? Is really is this the colour purple? All my life, I had to fight. These are the facts. I have lived in California since 2019. I'm not a personal trainer. I have not worked as a personal trainer for four years. I do fitness modelling. I was never a personal trainer for Tristan, adding that she met Thompson at a party in his Encino... Um, Encino what? Khalif. I don't know what the hell this is. I saw Tristan in March 2021 around his birthday. He told me he had, he had wanted to see me. She recalled, I agreed to meet him in Houston at a private party on March the 12th. I never drove a Maserati to meet Tristan as he claimed. He has never even been in my vehicle. I used an Uber or was driven by friends that weekend. Houston was one of the many nights we spent together soon after his birthday weekend in Houston. Not many nights. Tristan invited me to visit him in Boston. Come on invitation. That certainly went through. Certainly went through the letterbox to Postman Pat. But Chloe never got that one. Tristan, um, Nicole's told the outlet that she discovered she was pregnant shortly after spending time with Thompson in Boston. She claimed to have told Thompson about the pregnancy weeks before she was meant to see him. Nichols, who had welcomed baby boy early this month, also disputes the report details from early in the case that she filed for child support before the couple's alleged child was born. Tristan filed a paternity action in Texas after I filed my paternity action in LA. I did not file any request for child support before our child was born. The case that Tristan brought against me was dismissed. <clears throat> Nichols also shared that she was induced with placenta abnormality. There's no other medical reason why I need to be induced. I gave birth on December 1st, instead of focusing on any negativity. I am choosing to embrace being a mother and doing the best I can for my son. I do not want any further media attention, nor do I want a romantic relationship with Tristan. My goal is to raise our son in a safe, healthy, loving, and private environment. The only time that I had intercourse with um, Marilee in 2021 was in March 2021, which is what Tristan was saying, talking about. Um, Marilee also talks about how she did... Um, you know, wants to keep this private, but I feel like you were the one that also was very public with this whole scenario. Also claiming that Tristan was the one that allegedly said that, you know, he was single, but at the same time was dating Chloe. Like we've seen this pattern before with Sydney Chase. The fact that I even remember the girls that Tristan has played with because I reported on him doing these escapades so much. It's just these stories repeating all over again. And he's lying to the girls, telling them that, you know, that he was single, but he wasn't. He was very publicly with Chloe. The fact that he was cheating on Chloe while she was doing up statements you know, because she's been spending time in the library, not only finding quotes, but paragraphs, you know, from the books that she's been reading to write out these birthday messages to celebrate his 30th birthday, but he's with somebody else impregnating them. It's just ridiculous, man. And I feel like I'm not going to, I'm going to cut this video now because we've discussed this in previous videos before. We're all sick of Tristan's escapades. We're sick of overanalyzing it. I just don't give a damn. Let me know your thoughts are on this. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.